channel. Oh, starting off this morning in the dressing room. I feel like it's been a little while since I actually started a video in here and started with a bare face and got ready with you. So I thought today I would do that because it is a gorgeous, not quite spring, nearly spring day, but it feels like spring today. I don't want to speak too loudly, but the rain has stopped. The rain has stopped in the UK. It's not raining today. <laughs> And I can see a bit of a blue sky, thank God. And it's put me, it's honestly put me in the best mood. I am just, yeah, I'm really excited for a bit of a kind of me day today. So I thought what better day than to start vlogging when I'm in such a happy mood, the weather is on our side and yeah. So I thought we could get ready together because I actually have some new products to show you guys. I know you ask me quite a lot about makeup, what products I use, what products I like. And to be honest, I count myself extremely lucky. I get to try out a lot of brands, a lot of different products. And I really feel like I've built up a good kind of base level of, I kind of have my go-tos now of whether I'm doing a full glam going out needs to last eight hours makeup or whether I'm just doing a very fresh dewy faced no makeup little bit of makeup makeup look um, and I kind of feel like I've really got almost like a good library of products I don't it depends on what look I'm trying to achieve is what I'm trying to say as to what products I tend to dip in and out of I feel like I've got a good kind of, I know what products work well on top of each other, um, so yeah, and I do really love doing my makeup with you guys, and I feel like the last couple of times I've done my makeup, I've maybe had an event or something like that going on, so I've done more of a, I wouldn't even say heavier, but sort of, well yeah, maybe a slightly heavier, heavy duty, more filming makeup. I thought I'd show you more of a look that is great for a day like today when, to be honest, I mean, I know I'm filming with you guys, but I'm not filming anything like reels or anything like that. I want to look put together, but also, I don't know whether it's because it's spring and I'm just feeling like I want to look really fresh and dewy and just, you know, I just, I want to be able to see my skin, but feel a little bit nicer, more put together. So I thought I would do that kind of look with you guys today because I know not every day is a full glam day, let's be honest. So as I said, I do have a few new products to use with you. Um, I don't think I've shown you before on my channel, so that's exciting. So the brand I'm going to tell you about is called Merit Beauty. So they are vegan, they're cruelty free, they're great. So I'll show you a few of like my faves. Well, actually, I'll I'll just tell you about them as I put them on my face. That's probably a little bit more exciting, isn't it? Let's be honest. By the way, before I start, I just need to show you how cute this is. Look at the bag that you get when you purchase from Merit Beauty. It's just, it's so cute and so handy. But anyway, let me show you what I'm using. So I'm actually going to start with this. Um, I put this on before moisturizer, um, but this is the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow serum i'll show you this it's delightful and this does actually whoops there we go contain um some skincare as well it contains niacinamide hyaluronic acid just to give my skin a lovely glow this honestly just makes your skin look like glass i love this now over time obviously you'll start to see more of the skincare benefits which is lovely so it'll kind of just make everything look a little bit more even i feel now if i wasn't wearing makeup i could just wear this on its own pop some moisturizer spf on and be good to go but 
getting ready to dye. So I'm going to use it as a little bit more of a base. Okay, so for my base now, I'm going to use the uh, minimalist, what's it called? The Perfecting Complexion Stick. So I have, I've got two shades. It depends on, completely depends on whether I'm wearing false tan or not, to be honest. But I've got two shades. I've got Camel and I've got Silk. Camel is, as it would suggest, a slightly more tan shade and Silk is a lighter shade. How do I describe what these are? They're kind of like, I'd say they're a bit of a two-in-one foundation and concealer, but they're super light and super sheer. You can basically make these work for whatever you want them to do, to be honest. So you can build them up and give yourself a little bit more coverage. As I said, I prefer this kind of um, tool for when I want a lighter makeup look and I want to be able to see my skin, let my skin breathe. I want my skin to feel like I'm not wearing anything. Um, and that's the kind of look and feel that I feel like these give me. So I think I'm going to mix the two. I'm going to go in with a tiny bit of the silk shade first. Just a couple of swipes. But I'm going to, um, I do think I need a bit of camel in there actually. We're going to mix. We're going to have a little cocktail. And then I'm going to mix these together. Just on my face with the brush. I mean this is just with obviously one light layer but... You just see, like, I love it. You can still see my little like freckles. It just gives me that kind of my skin but better look. I'm not really wanting like heavy concealer, so I'm just using a bit of this complexion stick in the shade Silk. I've kind of just gone under, you know, where you get your kind of dark circles, kind of eye bag area. And as I said, I want this to look very natural, so I'm just going to go in with the same brush. I feel very fresh. That's the only way I can describe myself. I feel very fresh and light. Now, my favourite product from Merit has to be their blush. So it's actually called their Flush Balm Cheek Colour. I've got the shade Beverly Hills. Kind of like a really gorgeous, rosy, it's got a bit of a peach colour in there though as well. Now you can add this straight to your cheeks. I kind of like to warm it up in my thing, like in my hands first, and then add it on. I just I just prefer having a little bit more precision but whatever works for you I'll do you a little um swatch test this is the um color you can see that it's, it's almost like a coral rose kind of color it's just it's just beautiful and then i'm just going to add that in with my ring finger that blush is just so pretty it's just the perfect pink i love it perfect spring blush and it's just it's it's really um buildable as well so i would quite happily pop this on if i literally had no base no makeup whatever straight onto bare skin and just wanted more of like a flush of color um and i feel like it's kind of one of those products you could kind of pop in your bag and maybe just add a little bit more if you wanted to throughout the day it's just it's just beautiful honestly so lovely. Can you see that just flush of pink? Fun fact as well, this blush, it does in fact contain vitamin E as well, which will, again, a little bit of skincare will help condition the skin as well. So a bit of a two-in-one, not only are you going to look good, but actually it's going to help your skin. I have just quickly filled in the sparse areas of my eyebrows. So mascara. Merit mascara. Now, I had never used this before and I'd seen a few people rave about how good this was and I really like it. So this is their Clean Lash Lengthening Tubing Mascara and I like to start at the base and kind of give them a little wiggle as I pull the brush through and I feel like that kind of gives me the best coat. There we go, just look at the difference in length. Can you see that? I love this mascara. It doesn't um, add like a really thick chunk. You know, sometimes you put mascara on and you can almost end up with too much product on your lashes and they just look clumpy and thick. I hate that. This almost looks like you have had like fresh individuals put on. They just leave, they don't leave any residue or trace or clumps. And oh, I just love that. They look. Obviously my lashes look long with the mascara on, but they just look naturally long. 
if that makes sense. There's no kind of hint of mascara. I just love it. There we go, mascara done. And oh, before, I can't believe I moved on to eyes. I hadn't actually finished my skin. I forgot to put the highlighter on. So, day glow. This, this is gorgeous. I would actually just use this again on bare skin if I just wanted, as it suggests, a glow if my skin was feeling a bit dull. Um, but it obviously lies gorgeous over makeup as well. Honestly, just go in there. Just go in there. It's just gorge. I like to pop a little bit down my nose. Also, obviously, around my cheeks, my brow bone. Honestly, just go in there. For lips, I don't know whether to do a lip oil or lipstick. I'll show you the lipstick. Um, again, Merit Beauty. This is the shade Sunday and it's a gorgeous rosy pink colour. It's just beautiful. However, with the glowy skin, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with a lip oil today. So this is in the shade Slick. I'll show you it in the bottle. Not too dissimilar of a colour, more of a, I'd say more of a nudie brown undertone than the lipstick. Oh yeah, that is the perfect that's the perfect colour that I wanted for today. I love the colour of this. It has such a lovely colour payoff. And it actually says that this contains rose hip and grape seed oils for healthy, never sticky lips. There we go. I'm really happy with that. I feel really just dewy and fresh. I don't feel, you know, sometimes with more matte makeup, you can just feel a bit meh crusty matte i don't know i just this is the exact this is exactly how i wanted to feel a few things to know about the merit beauty products is that they are all non-comedogenic which means if you are struggling with your skin or anything like that they won't block your pores they're really really great and obviously they do have the added skincare ingredients in some of them as well so they're actually benefiting your skin while wearing makeup which I know usually there's a bit of a clash especially if you're struggling with your skin with makeup it's can sometimes be a bit of a rocky relationship trying to add makeup into the mix so um really good in that respect even down to the day glow it contains antioxidants yeah I just love it when you can kind of rest assured that your makeup is actually also helping your skin as well and also if you are new to merit beauty with every first order you actually get one of the little merit beauty makeup bags um and i believe if you spend over 40 dollars i think it is i'll fact check that yeah every order over 40 dollars gets free shipping as well so yeah if you're interested in adding a few new spring dewy makeup goodies to your collection I will pop all of the details in the description box and um, any extra bits um, on screen but anyway I have got a lovely day to myself planned so I'm gonna obviously bring you along with me so yeah let's just have a lovely day you know when you reach that point with your hair when you're just so ready to get it done I'm at that point I'm getting to the point where I feel like no matter what I do to it it's just not looking the way I want it to look. So I'm really sorry if I keep messing and faffing, but it's just going to be one of those, um, one of those days today. Um, I have just pulled up outside Doddington's. You guys might know, might remember Doddington's. I've, I've definitely been here before in previous vlogs. Um, Doddington Hall. I would, how would I describe it? It's basically, there's a farm shop, there's like a home interior shop there's a restaurant like cafe thing you obviously get food and it's just a really nice place to come but i was coming here anyway because i need to grab some veg from the farm shop but i thought i would have a little look be a bit naughty and go and have a look at the home stuff because i love the um oh god this jacket slipped on my shoulders there we go i really really love 
the um, home interiors place here. They always have some really nice little bits and bobs. Kind of like um, the same sort of things you'd get at a really nice garden centre. So I'm going to have a little look because I was just, I'm kind of in the mood to just make the house feel fresh. Add a few kind of just spring touches and yeah, I don't, I'm not one to like decorate my house for spring or say but i definitely like having a few new bits and pieces around and yeah so i thought i'd have a look here because i actually haven't been here since um before christmas when they had all of their christmas things in so i thought it'd be nice to see what new um new stuff they've got for me to have a look at so i thought we could go here together and then i think think i may go to the garden center because we've got a really good garden center near us it's huge and they've always got really nice stuff in there so i might go and have a look in there maybe home sense i don't know let's just see where the day takes us guys let's just see let's just see what happens but yeah for now first stop is doddington's full stop can't believe i live in your thoughts about you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful delight forgo give up everything that i own yeah i'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow unexpected love was found rose in a garden and it shows if I'm honest you're the leaves in mid-August and I've come out here to say that I love you ooh, ooh, you ooh I'd say Doddington, blah, 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 get my words out, Doddington's was a success. They had some such lovely bits in there. It's honestly so nice just going for a little like stroll around. Um, <laughs> this sounds horrible, but especially when I haven't got like Andy with me, who I can tell, you know, you must know this feeling girl i'm gonna say i'm gonna stereotype and say probably more so girls with their husbands boyfriends when you're shopping they don't even have to say anything but their aura his presence sometimes i can tell he's dying for me to just hurry up and get out and i feel panicked and i feel rushed and i feel like oh god he doesn't want to be in here so oh god let's just hurry up and yeah i can't take it all in it's nice sometimes just having a little browse on your own, isn't it? I know that sounds so horrible. <laughs> it's nice going by myself. Andy will be, um, let's just say he won't be gutted that he's missed out. So there we go. But I have now come to Home Sense because I forgot it's actually on the way to the garden centre. So I thought actually I'll pop in. I did come to Home Sense not too long ago, but you never know. There might be some new goodies. You just don't know. I really need, I never thought I'd say this, I need a couple of good kind of fresh spring candles for the living room because I've still got the Christmas ones in there and it's not quite the vibe now. I want something fresh and spring timey. So that's what I'm going into Home Sense looking for. But I always feel like if you go in there looking for something, 
it's one of those places you're not gonna get it are you so yeah that's what i am hoping to find but whether i get it or not is another thing Cooper. I actually have no idea what this is. Um, I'm not, I didn't know they inside they were sending me anything. Let me wind you down a bit, you're a little bit tall. There we go. They haven't said they were sending me anything, so I thought I'll open it with you. Do you want to come in? Let me let the doggies in. Come on then. So yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Um, I'm actually going to Cheltenham Gold Cup next week, which I'm very excited about. I have not shown you what I'm wearing yet. I thought I'd save it for the day, um, but yeah. So, I don't think this is anything to do with that, but I don't know, but I'm gonna open it with you now. Ooh. Oh my God, wow, yes. Oh wow, that is so nice. Oh my goodness me, that looks so warm this is their waterproof country coat oh my gosh that that is officially my new dog walking coat how lush oh my gosh i am so oh, let me put this on let me put this on why do like new coats make me so excited especially when it's one that i can literally wear for dogs oh it's got gorgeous fleecy lining on the inside oh that is just i love that as well that's just so lovely isn't it let's try this on oh that is so nice oh my gosh i can wear this to um oh go and walk the cross country course for eventing when it's cold oh my gosh that that is just lush let's do the zip up nice and long as well it's not um it's it's cozy but it's not overly thick and heavy so i'd say this is a perfect coat for sort of this this time of year oh my gosh this this is nice isn't it oh this is so cozy oh i can't wait to walk the doggies in this hmm bolly's looking at me like are we going? You've been! You've been! <laughs> You've been! Oh my gosh, this is just lovely. Bolly's like, yeah! Where are we going, Mum? Where are you going? Oh my gosh, this is just lovely. Oh, look how long it is. Just perfect. It's got nice deep pockets. 
can fit your poo bags in there and your treats. Oh, that is just, honestly, that is just gorgeous. I love that. Oh my God, so good. Right, let me do a little haul and show you what I um, picked up. Can you tell that I'm loving this new cosy corner in the living room? Honestly, I don't know what it is. I <laughs> Please tell me if you're the same. I get to a point when we're kind of, when obviously we're adding new bits and bobs to this house, but every time I add something new, I'm like, oh my God, yes, now it feels cosy. And then it will get to the next thing and I'll get something else. And I'll be like, no, now it feels nice and cosy. And I just, I can't imagine this room now without this piece of furniture here. It just makes it feel so finished in here. I really, really love the difference that it's made. And yeah, I'm so glad I waited to find the right piece for this and just accepted the bareness. And yeah, if you take anything from me, I mean, probably do not value my advice in the slightest, but if you do, all I'll say is if you do have a new house or move, do not feel the pressure to fill your house in one go. And you know, it's, I think it's a very slow process and there's been so many occasions where I could have spontaneously bought things I'd seen and I didn't because I just wasn't quite sure. But yeah, just, there's no rush when it comes to houses. And now I'm so, so happy with this little corner. So I thought I'd actually sit here and um, show you some bits that I picked up. As I said, I want to kind of inject a little bit of spring, but at the same time, how do I explain this? I'm not into like spring decor. I don't necessarily want these pieces to be stuff that I can't use or appreciate all year round. I'm not talking like Christmas decorations where they obviously come out for a couple of months and then go in a box. Um, but I do want to inject a little bit more spring into my house. So let me show you the bits and bobs that I picked up. So I'll start off with Doddington's, which is kind of like our local, it's a farm shop, but there's a home interiors place there. Yes, it did not disappoint. There were some, oh, some gorgeous things in there. It's dangerous going in there because you just see so many nice things, but I didn't want to go too overboard as well because I am potentially going somewhere next weekend, which you'll find out in a future vlog, which I'm sure I'll see lots of goodies there. So I did try and rein it in. But anyway, starting things off with, this was really random, but they had, just <laughs> take this out. They had this gorgeous kind of rustic um, plant part. And um, they had these faux, they're kind of like faux mini eucalyptus, which I bought literally for the sake of popping in there. But just little things like this to pop on my windowsill, to add a bit of greenery. I'm not the best at keeping things alive, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the most green-fingered of people. And yeah, kind of giving me something to keep alive, ongoing, that aren't flowers and kind of naturally die in a couple of weeks. It, you just, it's a death wish for poor plants. So I am faux plants all the way. But I thought this would actually be really lovely just to sit on the windowsill and as I said, add a bit of greenery. So I loved that. I also picked up these um, little like, um, what do you call it, bud, bud vases. So you would, rather than obviously pop a whole bunch of flowers in there, just pop a couple of stems in there. I really like when we have um, friends round, guests round. I really do enjoy actually laying the table and making it look nice as well. And I thought for spring, it would actually be so nice to be able to have, rather than just a bouquet of flowers, to be able to pop little vases and just have little stems and things. And I just thought, you know, even not laying the table, just dotted around the house. It's just a way to inject a bit of colour, a bit of cuteness. So yeah, they had these little mini bud vases. I've got one, two, three, six of these. And I'm, each one is just a little bit different. So they're not too matchy-matchy. So this one has the dots on it. This one's stripes. I've got one here, which is kind of like this design. Um, I have one here with stripes. As you can see, they're just all a little bit different. I think with a couple of flowers in, that'll be so lovely. So I picked those up. And as you can see, it's not necessarily 
spring decor. It's stuff that I can use all year round, but yeah, I feel like I was just a bit inspired by coming into spring to um, do this little haul. Um, very random, I just picked up some random napkins. We do get through napkins when we have people around, if we're having tea and cake, or if we've had like a roast dinner, we've had dessert. I, d I am one for putting out cute napkins. I am sad and I get my little kicks from that. So <laughs> I just got these really nice kind of spring vibes napkins. I know, very boring, very sad, but that is me. Um, I also grabbed these. Now I know I said I wasn't gonna do spring decor about 10 seconds ago, but tell hello bolly's come to help bolly's come you come to help my darling i know you are so sweet you are so sweet on you you are so sweet giving me your paw thank you darling as i said oh, i know i weren't going to do this but tell me you could resist these because i just thought these were so cute like so cute they had these mini like stone figures so i got the bunny and i got a little chicken I actually got two of each, so and you can't buy them on their own, they'd be lonely. So now I've got a Mr. and Mrs. Bunny, and I've got a Mr. and Mrs. Chick Chick as well. I just thought these were so cute. Again, just for kind of dotting around the house. I thought maybe I'd pop these either in the kitchen on the windowsill, or even on the shelves in the back room. I can just pop a couple on there, on the kitchen island. On here I could pop a couple. I just thought they were really cute. So I just... And they weren't expensive. Oh, there was this as well. So I am seeing um, Leonora this week. She is hosting a. Um, she's hosting a. <laughs> You've got to be involved. You've got to be involved. Hosting a like International Women's Day breakfast. Um, so I did get her a little kind of just thank you present. I'm sure by the time this vlog goes out she will have already received this from me so I'll show you what I got her sorry but how cute is the little gift bag for a start so cute I picked up a little card which I have not written yet but I couldn't resist look at that obviously it's got a little sausage doggy on it looks like her little OD so I got that which I will write in a moment excuse me puppies none of these things are for you no um and then I got her. So at Doddington, they have um, this brand called Wildflower. This is it. And they do the most gorgeous little candles. So I got her this one, if I can get it out. Oh God, it already smells so good. Before you've even got it out of the packaging, it smells incredible. How lovely is that? Wildflower, the orchard candle and Oh, it's such a lovely fresh smelling candle. I feel like she will love this in her kitchen or somewhere like that. I just thought it was so pretty. It's a little bit different. Obviously Leo has an orchard in her garden as well. I just thought that was so lovely and fitting. So I think she'll love this. So I got her that. And then I also got her the oh it's got it here. Got her this. This is just a bit of a random purchase but I know she loves her morning coffees she could not be without them so I saw this um just this really cute pink mug with these wild flowers on them and they've got some on the inside as well and I just thought that was so Leo I thought she will love that having her morning coffee with that in the springtime it's pink it's got wild flowers on it I thought she'd love that so I've also just grabbed that for her and then because I am an absolute sucker and I consider myself an honorary auntie of her sausage dogs. <laughs> I couldn't leave the poochies out, could I? So I also got, got the doggies a box of biscuits <laughs> for the sausage dogs. So that's just um, Leo's kind of little gift as a thank you for um, her invite. Oh, and also she did let us stay after Cheltenham last time. Just a little, little thank you present. Um, I did go to HomeSense. Now, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't over the moon with HomeSense. There was a lot of kind of, uh, not so much spring, more Easter decor in there. So 
lots of kind of easter eggs rabbits and things like that kicking around which if that's your vibe you go for it it's, it's not particularly me but um but they did have some lovely things i actually went in there specifically for candles because i literally still have my christmas candles out in the living room and i'm not I'm not in the Christmas spirit anymore, okay? I need some freshness. So I picked up three candles. The first one from um, Sand and Fog. And the only reason I picked up this up, I'm not gonna lie, is because it is called Gardenia, which for those of you that don't know, is my horse's um, official name. And when I saw Gardenia on there, I was just like, yes. I will purchase that. There we go. So, gardenia candle. These two candles I really loved. Another sand and fog one. Floral musk. It's not too f um, floral though. It's really lovely. It's, oh, it almost smells like something you would pop in the bath. It smells like a bathroom candle to me, um, which I think is where it's going to go. I might pop it in the bathroom so that when I have my nice baths, I can like this. And then this one, I, I look, to be honest, I fell in love with the packaging of this one. Um, this is from their DW Home range. Bright bergamot and fresh lemons. For the kitchen, I thought this would be lovely. I love the green and gold. Oh, smells very fresh. Definitely a kitchen candle. Do you do that, by the way? If you buy candles, do you smell them and think, that's for the bedroom or that's for the kitchen? I don't know if that's just me, but I... I smell a smell and I'm like bathroom when I'm having a bath is that weird? I don't know but kitchen <laughs> I can't put it anywhere else but the kitchen oh I also bought the spas oh I forgot about this I picked this up this gorgeous green like a wibbly wobbly vase but I thought it's the kind of vase that even when you don't put anything in it it just looks nice on its own which is lovely and obviously going into spring naturally i'll probably have more flowers around the house and i do usually run out of vases which is really annoying so i was due another extra vase so i did pick this one up but purely because it's one of those as i said it looks nice on its own without flowers as well it doesn't look kind of bare and empty and strange if it's on its own i also did get now these are not these are not from anywhere um that i picked up I actually did an order online at Layered Lounge. Um, I'll link these in the description box. But um, to be honest, I didn't think they'd be here in time by the time I filmed this video, but they did, they arrived. So I might as well show you. I ordered this vase as well from Layered Lounge. Gorgeous kind of rustic vase. Um, again, as I said, <laughs> I'm always running out of vases. And this is the kind of thing that looks nice on its own when it's not filled with flowers, which is perfect. And then also from Layered Lounge, um, they have really lovely um, like faux stems on there. As I said, I am a faux flower girl. I know, I know, but I am. So they have the most gorgeous faux stems. So many, they have so many new ones in, by the way, for spring. So I picked up a few um, bunches of a couple of different like variations open them up i got three of these these are their white willow sprays which i just thought was so lovely just a bit they just look fresh and nice for spring you know so um yeah i picked up those to pop in a vase maybe i'll pop them in one of my new ones i don't know and then i also grabbed these ones which are just i think these were literally called like their spring um new blooms or something like that I just thought these again oh is there a car outside oh no it's over the road um but again i just thought these again for spring just nice adding a little bit of brightness to the house so yeah that's what i got um and then finally um i did pop to our local garden center wasn't like blown away with the things in there and as i said i'm going somewhere next week so i don't want to um go too crazy but I did pick up this photo frame because I just thought it was absolutely beautiful. Um, it's this kind of brass gold with a dark wood. And I thought this would be so lovely for in the living room here. And I have a lovely photo up there of me and Flickr. And it's just in the, you know, the just cardboard frames that you get when you buy a photo. It's still in that and I'm, I hate looking at it. It's just really, just, yeah, it's not the one, is it? So I wanted a real, a proper photo frame for it. So I thought this would 
be perfect i think it looks really good in here this gold is the same sort of gold as the mirror i love the dark wood to go with a kind of dark um chair in the corner i think it just ties everything together so yeah i'll pick this up but anyway i'm now going to go and have a little play and pop some of my new bits and bobs out around the house Ooh. on the kitchen island and then pop the rest on the dining table because I just think that'll look really really nice next week I am heading to Cheltenham for the gold cup and um, yeah I just had a quick try on of my outfit which I am not allowed to show you until the day, but I can't wait to wear it. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really fun day. So yeah, watch out for that in a future vlog. I'm heading there. Um, it's not too far away now. So yeah, exciting times. But something I thought I would show, um, try on with you is this jumpsuit from Reese. So um, not an ad, by the way. But I am working with Reese over on TikTok um, because you can now shop Reese on TikTok shop and kind of like as a bit of a celebration of the launch of being able to do that and um, they kindly let me choose a couple of pieces and yeah this was one of them I thought this for the spring summer seeing as we're this is more of a springtime vlog I thought now would be a great time to um, show you this, this beautiful linen jumpsuit in it's sort of like an oatmeal colour. Um, it's a really lovely tailored jumpsuit. I also got this belt, um, again from Reese, this tan belt, because I thought this around the waist, I don't know if I'll end up pairing these together, but I just thought, you know, from looking online, this would look really nice. So I'm going to pop this on. Um, I'm not going to steam it just yet. I'm going to make sure it fits first. But yeah, I thought we could try this on together. Okay, I know it needs a steam, but this is just lovely. I love the shape and the colour. Absolutely beautiful for the spring. It's wide leg, honestly lovely. One thing I would say though, is if you are going to buy this or something like this um, it does come with the um, like fabric tie belt now depending on the look you want to go for this is just my personal opinion I'd get rid of this I don't think it does anything for the outfit if anything I think it cheapens it now I know it's not the be all and end all of how expensive your outfit looks I just think adding your own belt elevates it now I have obviously added this tan belt um, just because I think it adds more of a spring summer vibe. Because of the colour of the buttons, you could definitely go for black. I uh, personally though, I think with oatmeal, keep it warm toned for the belt. So either a really nice dark sort of mahogany brown or a nice tan belt like this and you can't go wrong. But yeah, for me personally, I'll be getting rid of that and then I will actually cut off. They've got little kind of tiny threaded loopholes where that belt has been sitting but I'm going to get rid of those because I just don't think it's needed with this jumpsuit 
has pockets as well. But yeah, can you imagine this in the summer as well? You know, just going to like a friend's barbecue, adding some tan sandals. Feels very strange speaking about sandals right now, but you know the kind of vibe. I, I'm going to grab a basket bag then, but it's still packed away. I still haven't got my spring summer wardrobe down yet. Um, it's just not quite warm enough yet, but I would add a lovely like straw or basket bag with this. Um, even this bag actually. Even this looks quite nice. Um, well, it looks very nice actually. That's a really nice kind of vibe, isn't it? I love that. But yeah, this from Reese. Definite win. Really, really loving that. Gorgeous, I love it. I can't tell you how happy adding that little bit of spring into my house today has made me feel. Oh, there's just something about it, isn't it? Just having some fresh new goodies around the house just to change up an area a bit. I feel like when you're in your house, you just become so used to the same old, same old. So just adding a little bit of injection of newness here and there. I just feel like I'm in a brand new house again. It's just, yeah. It's made me feel really happy. I am now going to head to the yard and see Flickr and then I'll be cooking some dinner. Um, but yeah, next week is gonna be a super fun week. As I mentioned, I have Cheltenham. I also have a long overdue hair appointment. Hence, I ended up sticking my hair up today because it's just, it's at that point where I'm struggling to do anything with it. So. I'm really looking forward to a hair refresh because it's been over six months since I had any colour or anything done to my hair. So yeah, long overdue hair appointment, so I'll feel nice and fresh for Cheltenham. And then I've actually booked, because Cheltenham is sort of away, it's about two and a half hours, um, pushing three hours for us. Um, rather than go down and just spend the one night down there, um, I've booked a hotel for... Andy and I to stay there for a couple of nights um, so that the day after Cheltenham we're actually going to have a little bit of a kind of day um, down south in the Cotswolds and yeah just have a little explore and make more of um, a two day thing out of it rather than going all the way down there just for the one day so that will be really really nice just a little short staycation getaway so yeah You'll have to join me for that vlog though. Um, at some point when this goes live, probably be in a week's time. So yeah, I will leave you with that one. But, um, but yeah, I will be uploading another video before that though, don't you worry, another fashion video. But yeah guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here. So I hope you enjoyed sprucing up the house for spring with me. And yeah, as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.